Hello everyone, in this video we will see walkthrough of the next experience of San Diego. If you haven't already upgraded your instance to San Diego, please click on the top right corner to see how can you upgrade your instance to San Diego. And after upgrading your instance to San Diego, you will have to activate the next experience. For that, I have already created a video. Please click on the top right corner for that video. Now let's quickly jump to service now and see the walkthrough of the next experience. I am at the login page and you can see all the revamped login page. Personally, I like this theme a lot. Let's start with the left hand navigator. Here you can see all where you can navigate to all of your application menu options, favorites, history and you can jump to some CMDB workspace or the workspaces which you have activated or have access to. Also, you can pin the most frequent things which you are using, for example, all or you have marked maximum things in your favorite, then you can use favorites. And if you use history a lot, then you can pin the history tab as well. Personally, I will go with the all because we usually go into different menu options while developing our requirements. Moving on, this is the search bar and we can search as usual by pasting an incident number or the unique number and you will be again redirected here. If we search again, for example, here you can see the error page where it did not find anything or we can search for maybe server is down. And you will be presented with all of the list and from where the results have been picked and you can click on any one of them and go directly to those policies or the knowledge articles where it was found. Other thing which I liked here is if I go to this incident and you can see there is a star button here and you can mark this incident as your favorite and wherever you go for example into a user record into some project you will see this header changing and you can mark that particular page as favorite. You don't have to go and individually search and then mark it as favorite so that is a really cool feature. And you can see the theme around here as well which has changed quite a bit and here you can see the application scope the drop down has been replaced now and then you can see your notifications and in your preferences you will see a all together a new kind of menu which is really cool you can go ahead and switch on or switch off the functionality the functionalities are pretty much the same also while exploring i found a couple of new things which i would like to emphasize if I go to user record, you would be able to see the list action has been moved on the top. Instead, it was present at the bottom of the page in the native UI. And the list view altogether is also a new look, which looks pretty much great to me. And if I go to an existing record or maybe I create a new user, there used to be a field called password and you used to set by typing the new password. But now service now is introduced a new UI action called set password and you can either generate or type your new password again and after that you can see the password and copy the password and send it to the end user and then you can save the password as well. So this is quite a great security feature where you can generate a strong password and which will help in maintaining the security of ServiceNow instance. I will keep exploring the next experience and let you know guys if I find anything which is cool. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in comments if you have any questions or any suggestions. Thanks for watching the video.